going on everybody welcome back to another collection update video um we did part one of our movies so far um, i'm working on doing the other parts for those those are the big boys so those take the longest time i showed you my vinyl collection and now we're going to continue it along with my video game collection we got a decent amount of titles um i once had such a better collection uh, shameful to say that when I had to move at one point, uh, one of the collections that had to go was a big portion of my video game collection. I had to sell a lot of my video games and I really only held on to the titles that were my favorite um, to stay in the collection and I wish that I didn't do that. Uh, when I was a kid I had such a fantastic Game Boy collection. Um, a lot of those kind of fell to the wayside. I don't have so many of those anymore. I want to, a big portion of my year this year is I'm going to kind of scale back on my movie collection, collecting. I did have a lot. I was going so hard in upgrading all the titles as they came out. So now I'm really going to take a step back and I'm really only going to upgrade the ones that I really absolutely are must have that I think will go great as 4Ks um, that'll upgrade. But I'm going to kind of scale back on my movie collecting this year and I'm really going to scale up on my video game collecting and kind of re-get my video game collection back to what it was back when I was in high school because I had such an eclectic video game collection. I had so many Game Boy uh, titles. I had so much game, GameCube games. I gave away all my GameCube games. And I really wish I didn't do that because, uh, you know, so many titles now you see that go for so much money and everything were all titles that I had and I stupidly, stupidly sold them. Um, PlayStation 2 was another one. I had so many games of those that I gave away. Uh, I think my biggest one that hurts the most is my Xbox 360 collection. I had so I had the majority of Xbox 360 titles that came out. I had so many of those games, and I gave away so many of them and really only kept the ones that I had, so I really want to build that one back up. Uh, my Xbox One collection is, is pretty solid for right now. I have collected a bunch of those. Um, I still wish I still have a decent amount of my N64 games. I wish I still had the rest of them. I wish I still hung on to all of the boxes for all of the Game Boy and N64 games that I still have hung on to because uh, that would be a huge collector's item now today. And shame to say I don't have those. Um, Switch is probably the latest system that I've been collecting for. Uh, I really only got a Switch pretty recently. I think a few years ago now. I know Switch has been around for a while, but I think I've only had it for maybe like three, four years now. I think I got it right before COVID hit. I think I actually got it January of 2020, I think is when I bought it. Right going into COVID is when I got my Switch. So I, I've slowly been building those games. Those ones are the toughest ones to collect because they just never dip in price. You've got Switch games that came out years ago that are still $60. It's insane. So those are the toughest ones to collect. Um, but that's going to be my, my big goal this year is going to, to rebuild my video game collection. But we won't waste any more time. I know you wanted to see that it's TJ. Shut the fuck up and get into the collection. We're going to do it. We're going to do it right now. As always, my quick caveat before we begin for you guys. You like these videos. You want to see this channel grow. You want to see more of that good stuff from podcasts to collecting updates and all that good stuff. Then you got to hit that subscribe button. And then you can hit that like button. And then drop some comments down below. Let me know what's in your video game collection. If you are your own YouTube channel that has your own video of your video game collection or movie collection or anything, drop the link down below because I am a sucker for watching collection videos. I love watching full videos of your entire collection. So if you got one, drop it down below with a link and I'm going to go check it out and I'll go give you a sub as well because I like paying it forward. But we're going to dive into the collection. Now we'll start with uh, Game Boy and Nintendo DS and Game Boy Advance type stuff because there's not that many of them and I really only have the few. Um, as far as Game Boy games go, it's hilarious that the only ones that I kept were my Pokemon games. So we've got Pokemon Yellow here, Pokemon Red, Pokemon Blue, a Pokemon Gold, Pokemon Silver, Pokemon Crystal. I wish I had kept a bunch of the Donkey Kong and Super Mario and Tetris and Centipede and all those games that I had, because those are always classic. And I wish I still had my Game Boy Advance. That's another thing I'm gonna do this year is I wanna collect a lot more of my retro stuff that I had. Um, so I'm gonna try and find a Game Boy, an old Game Boy Color somewhere that I could buy so that I could play these games how they like to be played. Um, for Game Boy Advance, uh, we got this Pokemon Pinball. We got Pokemon Ruby. One lone, the one lone Nintendo DS game that I have is, is Pokemon Diamond, or at least with a case. Because inside this, there is Pokemon Diamond, but then I also have uh, Super Mario Brothers Deluxe. I think that is the new, no, just new Super Mario Brothers. We'll kind of go from like earliest to latest from like, you know, when I was a kid as we got older through these systems, because obviously Game Boy Color was the first system that I ever got, um, as well as the N64. 
Um, and as you can see, I've got this amazing, still beat up Banjo-Kazooie. This is my original Banjo-Kazooie. As you can tell, it's really been through the ringer there. Um, Banjo-Kazooie, one of my favorite games of all time. Banjo-Tooie, love that one as well. Diddy Kong Racing, which is another classic little racing game right there. Donkey Kong 64, one of my favorite platformers. I love that game. Mario Golf, a game that I've played way too much with my friends. Mario Party. Mario Party 2, perhaps the greatest Mario Party game. Uh, me and my friends still play that together to this day. We'll get together and play that on the 64. NFL Blitz 2001, shout out to my friend, my boy, my buddy, my pal, B-Wade, the amount of times we used to play this game when we weren't supposed to. Great times. Pokemon Snap, absolute classic right there. You gotta have it, Super Mario 64. And then last but not least, Toy Story 2. What a classic right there. Uh, N64 is another one that I would love to collect more games on. Obviously, I'm not going to go as in-depth as a lot of like collectors do where they collect the boxes and everything. That's just absolutely fucking insane. Uh, I wish I had that kind of cheddar, but I don't. So just collecting the games is going to be good enough for me. Uh, I don't want to go insane with N64. I basically just want to collect all the titles that I remember playing as a kid that I don't have already in this one, you know, so, you know, there's still Mario Kart in there, Super Smash Brothers, um, Conker's Bad Fur Day, Bomberman, some classics in there that I still want to get, Turok, um, and add those back into the collection. I had all those when I was a kid, and somehow those ones just fell by the wayside. And now we got our rechristened PS2 collection. So for Christmas this past year, I actually asked for a PS2 for Christmas. So I got a PS2 for Christmas uh, in 2023. Absolute classic right there. I picked up some games for it. And I'm going to start recollecting all the PS2 games from my childhood and everything as well. Uh, another funny thing that we're doing actually uh, deals in with the podcast and that was with the podcast, you know, we do our deep dive into these movies that we grew up on, all these movies that I saw in theaters. And one of the funnier things from the heyday from when I was a kid, when movies were coming out, was the video game tie-in. Every movie, every big movie that came out got a video game tie-in. So I wanted to go back and I wanted to collect as many of those games as possible so that I could play them in the lead up to these episodes so that I could talk about them in the episodes. So I'm going to start doing, that's why I, you know, got a lot of the classic games so that I can, you know, start playing some of these old ones. So in our PS2 collection kicks off with one of those that we'll get to, and that is Batman Begins. Uh, I never played that when I was a kid, so that one's going to be an interesting one. We got Call of Duty 2, the big red one. I have played all the Call of Duty games, obviously. Chronicles of Narnia, Lion, the Witch, the Wardrobe. We had to get this one for when we come to it in the pod. This is a game that I did play as a kid, and it was absolutely terrible. One of the greatest franchises of all time, Crash Bandicoot. I got uh, Crash Bandicoot tattoos all over me at spots. Uh, Wrath of Cortex, this was a fun one right here. I do want to collect um, PS1 games also so I can at least get those Crash games and like Twisted Metal and those games that I played as a kid. Um, so I got to find those at some point. Of course, we got Grand Theft Auto 3 right here. You got to have the classics. And we got Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Somehow, I, I guess I had given away my San Andreas, but I need to recollect uh, my San Andreas at some point here for the PS2, so I'm going to have to find that somewhere. We got the first Jack and Daxter. Absolutely just classic game. We got Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. A lot of these I find at like thrift stores and stuff too, so that I'm not like paying a huge price because I'm not trying to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to, you know, re-get all these games. Medal of Honor Frontline. Absolute classic. This one I used to play with my buddy Ryan religiously. In high school, Medal of Honor Rising Sun, just absolutely fantastic at that game. Shrek 2, another one we had to pick up for when we get to it on the podcast. The Sly Cooper, uh, this game, this, this is one of the few PS2 games so far that I've, I've been playing, and it's so freaking good. I, it's, I forgot how great that game is. We got Spider-Man. We're going to come to this one pretty soon on the podcast, so it's going to be fun to start playing that game. And then rounding out the PS2 collection right now, Tony Hawk's Project 8. And now we get to the biggest part of the collection, and that was my Xbox 360. Uh, just Xbox in general. That's the biggest console that I play. Um, I am fucking obsessed with collecting achievements. Uh, it's just sad to say. It's just such a viciously disgusting cycle that I'm stuck in. So Xbox is the big, huge... Uh, system that I play all the time and has the most games for that I collect. Uh, so we'll kick it off with our Xbox 360 collection. We got Assassin's Creed 3. I love the Assassin's Creed series. Uh, it's one of my favorite series of all times. Just absolutely fantastic. Uh, we got Assassin's Creed Revelations. I actually haven't played that one. I really, 
you know, when I was younger and played, I really just stuck mostly to the main title games. So I haven't played a lot of the side ones. So that's something that I'm trying to rectify. So we got Revelations. We're going to play that one at some point. We got Assassin's Creed Rogue. Is another one, another one that I got to play. Got Cabela's Dangerous Hunts. So this is, yeah, 2011. I loved those games. They're just so, such dumb fun. We got Bioshock Infinite. I actually never played any of the Bioshock games. So, you know, when I found this one for only like a dollar, I was like, well, let me pick that up. And I want to definitely get all of them so that I could play them again. I know they did like a remastered like collection on Xbox One. I'm going to try and get that one as well. But whenever I play and I want to play these games for the first time, I like to play them on the system that they were made for. So it'll be fun to play those on the 360 um, and just see the graphics and everything. I, I love playing games like that. We got Call of Duty 2 here. Got Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Call of Duty World at War. Another great game. And then we got Call of Duty Ghosts right here. We got Skyrim. Another tattoo that I have. This game, when I came out while I was in college. And over winter break, I did nothing but play this game. I wouldn't go out. I would just come downstairs to eat. I would do nothing but play that game. That's how obsessed I was with it. Fable 3. Uh, Fable 2 was the one I played the most. I want to find that one at some point, too. I don't know why I gave that one away when I was thinning out my Xbox collection. Um, my favorite game of all time, Gears of War 2. I've logged more hours into this thing than probably any other game. I fucking love this game. I love this franchise. Uh, it's just, it's so fucking good. I gotta get, I really gotta get the first one. I don't know why I gave that one away out of all of them. We got Gears of War 3. And then we got Gears of War Judgment. Got Grand Theft Auto 4, baby. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. I don't have my 5 for the Xbox 360. I don't know why. Fucking stupid of me. I gotta get that at some point. I don't know why I gave that one away. Another one of my favorite games of all time, Guitar Hero 2. Probably the game I was the best at. Not only was I the best at it, I was not just the best at it with my friends. I was the best at it and, and anyone around. I suck now. I'm not, I haven't played, I rarely ever play. But when this came out in high school and me and my friends were playing this thing every day, I was, I was good. I never, never lost. It, you would be hard pressed to find anybody that could beat me. We would go to Best Buy where they'd have the setup for Guitar Hero and we would just challenge people all day. Like we just hang out there and challenge people. And I was fucking good. I was good. That was the best one. The other ones, they, they're fine. You know, we got Guitar Hero 3 and everything, but nothing ever touched 2. Even though they never had the original songs, like I would love to see a remaster of Guitar Hero 2 with the actual master tracks. That would be fucking awesome. We got Guitar Hero World Tour. We got Guitar Hero Metallica. We got Guitar Hero 5. And then we got Guitar Hero Warriors of Rock. Um, I would love to see them do another Guitar Hero, but strip it back down to, like, Guitar Hero 2. I also have to collect, like, the side Guitar Hero games, because I did enjoy all those ones, like Aerosmith, uh, Van Halen, even though I don't know like Aerosmith. Uh, <laughs> they're still fun. They're still fun to play. Uh, we got Madden NFL 2007 for some reason. It was just in my house somewhere. We got Lego Star Wars 3, The Clone Wars. I love the Lego games. I play those games religiously. And then, of course, if you love Guitar Hero... You also love Rock Band. So we got Rock Band. We got Rock Band 2. We got Rock Band 3. And then finishing out the Xbox 360 collection for now is the Beatles Rock Band. So I still have a ways to go to recollect everything that I had in Xbox 360 and then just collect more. Because uh, obviously I do want to really get up high with my Xbox titles. So we're going to keep we'll keep chugging along. Again, you got any hot titles for Xbox you want to send me or you know like a good beat for some good ones for a fair price? Let me know in the comments down below. And then now my biggest collection of titles right now is my Xbox One um, slash Xbox X. I don't have the latest system. I do have games for the latest system because I was an idiot and didn't realize. Um, but I don't have the latest system yet. I do have to finally get it um, because there's plenty of games that are coming out now that are only for it that I want to play. Um, like Starfield, for instance. Um, the new Avatar Frontiers of Pandora game looked really cool. Um obviously gta 6 is you know around the corner somewhere so i do have to finally get one and i'm going to this year i'll probably finally do it this year at some point get the new xbox uh but kicking off our xbox one uh series right here we got the star wars angry birds game i found that for like really cheap at like a thrift store like um so i was like yeah why not we got assassin's creed unity uh that's one that i still have to play 
we got Assassin's Creed Origins. This is absolutely fantastic. The one-two punch of Origins and Odyssey might have been the best Assassin's Creed has ever been. Those two games were so freaking good. I logged, I gotta fix this, I logged so many hours into that those two games. They were just absolutely phenomenal. Um, and then we got the latest one, Assassin's Creed Mirage. I don't have Valhalla because they put Valhalla out during COVID, so I had downloaded it instead of buying it. So I have to, I've just been waiting to find it somewhere, the actual copy for like cheap to get it. And I do want to. Valhalla was fun, but it was like super repetitive. Uh, Mirage was fun too, but it was also short, but it was kind of like a side tier. It's not one of the big beefy ones. So I, I can't wait until the next big beefy one comes out. We got Call of Duty Black Ops 4. I've actually never played that. Call of Duty World at War 2. That one's fine. We got Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. I've actually never played Infinite Warfare, but I did pick this up for cheap um, at GameStop because it had the remastered Modern Warfare, and I just played that. We got uh, the remake, redo, whatever the fuck you want to call it, of uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Um, it's fine. It doesn't touch anything on the original, but it's, it's, it's cool. I don't have the second one because that was another one of like it being around COVID time. So I was just downloading games instead of like buying, um, which really kicked me in the ass now because now I want to get them, but I want to find them for cheap and not pay huge prices for it again. Elder Scrolls Online. Come on. Classic right there. We got Fallout 4. I actually was never really big into the Fallout games. Uh, my buddy, Jim, who, you know, does the podcast with me. I remember when Fallout 4 came and he was at my house pretty much every day. Uh, we had a PS4 set up there, and he was there every day just playing Fallout 4 all the time. <laughs> so I, I didn't play it a lot, but I watched him play it a lot. We got Far Cry 6. We got Gears of War 4, baby. Played that game a bunch. Uh, the game that I played probably the most out of anything right now, Gears 5. Uh, just still waiting for Gears 6. I've logged way too many hours into that game. Of course, we've got the Grand Theft Auto, the Trilogy Collection. I'm actually playing the Remastered 3 right now, and I forgot how fucking hard that game is it is so unforgiving uh with the npcs and the vehicles and everything it's 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 brutal and then again for this one also i have to pick up uh, gta 5 because it's another one i downloaded during covid to play with my friends but i don't have the actual copy and we got the halo the master chief collection i'm also playing this one right now because i, I wanted to replay all the halo games uh because i haven't played them in so long so i'm playing through the first one and this is another game that i forgot how goddamn hard this game really is it's insane how hard the halo games are um halo one though not as great as i remember very repetitive um i know it's probably a hot take but you know it is what it is hogwarts legacy this was actually a really fun game i enjoyed it i would like to see another one uh maybe like a co-op with a bit more to do this one also felt kind of repetitive um, but as far as putting out an RPG of, of Harry Potter, that was a really good start. It was a lot of fun. Kingdom Hearts 3, because of course, I still got to recollect my Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 for the PS2. I used to play those games religiously. Lego, the Lego movie. Because, uh, you know, I love Lego games. I got to have them. We got Lego Worlds. We got Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens. And we got Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. A lot of the other ones I all got during COVID when I couldn't go out and buy things. So like Lego Incredibles, Lego um, Jurassic World, Lego um, all the, the Batmans. So there's, there's so many of those Lego games that I got to recollect uh, to have back in the collection. We got Madden NFL 2018 for some reason. We got Mafia 3. I actually never played that one yet. We got Mass Effect. I think this is the yeah, Legendary Edition, which comes with all three Mass Effect games. I've actually never played a Mass Effect game. So when I saw this and it was only like 10 bucks, I figured I had to get it so that I could finally give those ones a try. And then I have to get them on Xbox 360 also, because like I said before with Bioshock, when I play them for the first time, I want to play them on their original system. So it would be fun to play it on the Xbox. We got, uh, what the fuck, is Nickelodeon Kart Racers 3 Slime Speedway. Yeah, don't ask me why. Uh, and we also got Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. All-Star Brawl. Because uh, why not? Why not have a Super Smash Brothers Nickelodeon style game? We got PGA 2K21, baby. Absolute classic. Love that fucking game. Played that more than anything during COVID. We got Planet Coaster. Got Red Dead Redemption 2, baby. One of the best games of all time. 
We got Rise of the Tomb Raider. I actually just got all the Tomb Raider games so that I could play them, um, because my friend said they were freaking amazing. Well, I still have to get Shadow of the Tomb Raider, but I've got Rise in the first one. I finished the first one last week, and it was awesome. We got Shadow of Mordor. We got Sonic Origins, which is a bunch of the original Sonic titles, so that was a lot of fun to play because I did have a Sega Genesis when I was a kid, and I loved playing on that. And then we got South Park, The Fractured Butthole. We got Star Wars Battlefront. And then we got Battlefront 2. I got to collect for the PS2, the original Battlefronts, because Battlefront 2 was like one of the greatest games the PS2 ever made. It's Star Wars Fallen Jedi... I can't fucking speak. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Um, I want to get the new one because that one was so much fun, but I need the new Xbox. Starfield, this is one that I bought, not realizing that it was only for the new Xbox. Um, so I can't play that until I get the new Xbox. The Evil Within, actually never played that, but I saw it for like four bucks. So I was like, let me get that. We got Tom Clancy's The Division, another game that I found for like $4. So why the fuck not? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Cowabunga Collection, bunch of classic Turtles games, just so much fun. We got Titanfall, another game I got for like $2 at a thrift store. Uh, the Tomb Raider, the Definitive Edition. This is the one that I just finished. It's fucking awesome. I had a lot of fun with that game. Got Watch, Dog, Watch Dogs Legion. Uh, I think it was on sale at Best Buy for like 8 bucks, so I got it. And then we got some WWE games. We got WWE 2K17 and then 2K18. And we finished it off with the Switch Collection. Not many titles, obviously, because like I said, Swift, the uh, Swift. Switch collections, the titles are still so expensive, but we got we got some here. We got Disney Illusion Island. Uh, this one was actually a lot of fun. I got this right before we were going to... I usually always get Switch games right before I go on vacation because it's a game... I need a new game to play while I'm on the plane. So this one I got before I went to Savannah um, for my wife's 30th birthday, so I had this to play on the plane. We got DK, uh, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. Um, I forget where we were going that I got this one, uh, but obviously uh, another classic. That game was a lot of fun. We got Mario Golf Super Rush. Um, this game I was not a big fan of. We got Mario Kart 8 Deluxe because, you know, you got to have the Mario Karts. We got Mario Party All-Stars. I got this game actually right before my bachelor party so that me and my friends could play it on the plane. <laughs> We got Pokemon Arceus. I uh, forget. Well, I did buy this before we went on vacation somewhere. Might have been to Aruba or something, so I had to get that to play. Super Mario 3D World and Bowser's Fury. I actually picked this one up uh, before my honeymoon so I could play it on the flight to Paris. That game was so much fun. Super Mario Wonder, the game that I'm playing right now, and I currently hate my life because all I have left to do is beat the badge marathon, and I can't get past the fucking... It took me 52 lives to pass the spring feet portion and now i have 33 lives left and i can't pass the invisibility portion so it's it's getting tight and it never as one level made me hate a game so much um but this is this game is a lot of fun we have super mario odyssey another absolute classic and then rounding it out because of course how can you have it not get it is a super smash brothers ultimate another classic right there so that is my video game collection. Obviously not near as crazy as to some other people's out there. Mine, once upon a time, was glorious. Much like Rome, it was once a spectacle. A glorious sight to behold. And it is no longer. But we were once, we're, we're rebuilding. We're going to get back up there. Uh, and it's going to be something beautiful. This will be a fun one to return to next year to see how much this collection has grown in 2024. But that'll do it for all of us here in this you know, lovely video here. As always, let me know down below. Again, send me those links. I love watching collection videos. I will watch your collection video. I don't care what it is on. If it's a collectible that you're collecting, I'll fucking watch it. So drop it down below. And as always, reach us back here every Tuesday when we do another episode of Front Row Cinema where we dive into all of the movies that I saw in theaters growing up. The 1,000 movies that I saw in theaters. Uh, Tuesday's episode will be... How the Grinch Stole Christmas, so be sure to drop back in and check that one out come Tuesday. But that'll do it for all of us here. Until next time, I'll see you at the movies.